Mr. Neil Akram, permanent representative of Pakistan to the United Nations. Uh, the floor is yours, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the co-chairs of the Group of Friends on Sustainable Energy, Denmark, Norway, Ethiopia, and Pakistan, I extend a very warm welcome to you all this morning. I also welcome Mr. Liu Jinmin, Under Secretary General for Economic and Social Affairs, Ms. Damilola Ogunbi, Secretary General's Special Representative for Sustainable Energy, and Mr. Haoling Xu, Assistant Secretary General and Director of the Bureau for Policy and Program Support, representing Ms. Akim Steiner, Administrator of UNDP, uh, for their presence. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the teams of SDG 7 policy brief and tracking report for consistently supporting the discussions on energy during ECOSOC's HLPF and the high level dialogue. Excellencies, SDG 7, ensuring access to sustainable, modern and clean energy is a linchpin for the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals. It will spur progress across all SDGs, most notably poverty eradication, gender equality, climate change, food security, health, education, sustainable cities and communities, clean water and sanitation, product productive employment, innovation and transport. COVID-19 has triggered the worst health and economic crisis in a century. But it has further reinforced the significance of SDG 7. We need reliable and adequate energy to fight the pandemic for hospitals, schools, businesses, information and communication technologies, and for housing. Two thirds of all carbon emissions emanate from energy use. A global transformation to sustainable and renewable energy is essential to realize the Paris climate objectives. Excellencies, although we have made progress towards the achievement of SDG 7 in some areas, the overall effort still falls far short of what is needed to meet the goals of the 2030 Agenda and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. As of 2019, 759 million people still had no access to electricity, much less sustainable electric energy, and significant gaps remain between urban and rural access. About 2.6 billion people are still without access to clean cooking soup. While global investments in renewable energy capacity increased by 2% to US dollars 303.5 billion in 2020, on our current trajectory, the share of all energy new renewable energy is projected to rise from 17.1% in 2018 to only around 21.5% of total global energy consumption by 2030. Non-electricity end use sectors such as heating, cooling and transport are lagging much further behind. Improvement in annual efficiency is projected to reach only 2% between 2018 and 2030, far short of the 3% needed to achieve the target. Excellencies, access to clean and renewable energy is a priority area in Pakistan. Our policy is driven by three objectives. Universal access to energy, doubling the share of renewable energy, and doubling the rate of energy efficiency and conservation. We have also decided by, that by two, 2030, 60% of all energy produced in Pakistan will be clean energy through renewables, and 30% of all our vehicles would run electricity. 
We have already cancelled two coal power projects, which were supposed to produce 2,600 megawatts of energy and replace them with hydropower projects. Pakistan's solar and wind power potential is 40,000 megawatts, which makes it among the most attractive locations for renewable energy investment in South Asia. Excellencies, to achieve the SDG 7 targets and the Paris goals, we need accelerated action in three fronts. One, the identification and preparation of renewable and sustainable energy projects in both the advanced and developed each country must develop a pipeline of such projects and secure financing for their implementation from domestic and external sources. Two, capacity building in the developing country to identify, prepare, structure, and secure financing for the execution of sustainable and renewable energy projects. Three, mobilization of the financing required for implementation of sustainable and renewable energy projects. Around $1 trillion is required each year to realize the transformation to a green global economy and net zero emissions by 2050. Public finance will not be sufficient, especially in the developing countries. The vast private sector assets, $300 trillion, must be accessed to ensure the scale of finance needed. The UN system, together with the multilateral development banks, have a critical role in achieving these three objectives. The various platforms created by the World Bank, regional banks under the G20 and China's Belt and Road Initiative must all be utilized in a coherent and planned program for the global transformation to a green energy economy. Excellencies, the September 2021 High Level Dialogue in Energy represents an unparalleled opportunity to mobilize worldwide action on SDG 7 and the Paris Climate Goals. As the first global gathering on energy, this conference under the auspices of the UN General Assembly, first conference in 40 years, the high-level dialogue can serve as a unique vehicle for galvanizing political commitment and focusing global efforts on the collaborative and effective implementation required in the coming years, while also contributing to a successful 26th UN Climate Change Conference of the parties, that is COP26 in Glasgow. I thank you very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency.